Okay, Willow Village volunteers, I'm going to show you um, what the unboxing of the Grand Pad is like. Um, they've uh, gone out of their way to make this foolproof. Got the box turned around the wrong way, they tell you open from other side. Um, if you've accidentally got it upside down, it tells you to turn it over. So, pretty uh, obvious how to do it, and um, they don't even have any tape on the flap. So, lift flap. Hold tight at first. And that's what you see at first. So right on top we have a welcome letter. It's addressed to Demo 1, which is how they configured this unit before shipping it. And you get a little note from the CEO. And on the back, it tells you what your email address is. And of course, when we set it up, it's going to be different, but it's the default um, email address for this particular demo. So right away you're all set up with email. And on every page it says call us toll free for help to have full tech support. And then the next page is a setup guide. And it's pretty simple. Plug the charging cradle into an outlet, put the grand pad on the cradle and wait a few minutes for it to charge and it will turn on. So we'll, we'll check that out, see if it works. And then there's a quick guide to the apps. Calls, email, photos, camera, articles, weather, music, games. And a quick guide to the home page. So let's see if we can figure it out. So the grand pad is in this little cardboard recess. It has a cover on it. And I don't know if it comes in different colors or only red, but I'm going to go ahead and take the cover off. And Take this out. I think we're going to find the charger in here. Pretty sure. There's the charging cradle. And an interesting thing I'll show you. Um, the cord doesn't plug in. You don't fiddle with a little connector. They've just hardwired the cord to it just to remove one more possible problem. So you just have to untwist this wire that holds the cord together and then we'll be able to plug it in. And one last thing in the box, or two last things, and that is a stylus for using on the touch screen because a lot of older people have trouble with dry skin not activating a touch screen. And this appears to be a refrigerator magnet with the help number on it and a cleaning cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and plug the charger in and um, that's good. I've got a green light. I like that. And let's see if what they said is true. If we just set this in there. I can see I have it upside down. So I'm going to flip it. And it seems to be booting up. Goes right to a GrandPad logo. I suspect that this light shows that it's charging. GrandPad is waking up and will be ready shortly. And there we have a screen and it says tap a button or tap the arrows to see more. Okay, uh, let's take the GrandPad out of the charging stand and set it up with its own built-in stand like this. And I'm going to zoom in so that we can see it better. Okay, um, the first point I want to make is that I have not put in any passwords or Wi-Fi addresses. The system worked right out of the box and got onto the cellular network. So uh, basically what you see is what you get when you start using it. And they've already set this up with Willow Village being the first application. If we touch that, um, it brings up a screen that will let us call Willow Village. So it's going to make a phone call to our info number. And I'm not going to do that right now, but let's go back. Um, let's look at this uh, call button here. So if I click that, it has a list of contacts. The only one I've entered is myself. And I can call Mark. And it looks like I can either make a video call or a phone call. And um, let's try the video call, see what happens. 
Uh, you're here ringing. That's actually on my phone. Let me show you here. And if I answer that, I'll be in a video call. And you get all these echoes. Because you're not supposed to have one phone next to the other, but you can see it worked. Um, next, let's see how the email works. I'm going to touch the email button. And I have an existing message that I could read. That's just a kind of a welcome message that they send you. I'm going to leave that there. And I'm going to compose an email. The only contact I have right now is Mark. Notice it's going to record a message. Hello, Mark. This is Janet Jones calling. Um, I'm calling to test out my new grand pad. If you get this message, please call me back. Thank you. And now we're going to send that. So um, now let's take a look at my phone. And you can see that I've received a new email from Janet Jones. And let's see what happens. Touch that. And you just get a message saying that you have a, an audio email and that you should click to listen. So let's listen to it, see what happens. And I'll play it back. Hello, Mark. This is Janet Jones calling. Um, I'm calling to test out my new grand pad. If you get this message, please call me back. Thank you. It worked. Um, let's look at the other applications. So there is a Photos app, and that basically has photos that you and your contacts can share. You can also take a photo using the camera. Let's try that. And let's use the still photo. We need to, this is the back camera, as you can see. We need to switch to the front camera. And hello there. Let's take a photo. Oh, it's timed. There, you can see a very unflattering photo. I'm going to delete it. And um, it has a section with articles. I think these are curated by GrandPad. Um, there is a weather forecast if you want it. it gives the current weather and a five-day forecast. Um, there's music. And it uh, looks like there's a genres here. Um, I don't know, classic rhythm and blues. Let's see what it's got. Blueberry Hill, an old favorite. Um, 40s, 50s, 60s. All kinds of music here. I'll have to find out if you can add other music or not, but right now um, it gives you a start with a number of tunes that they've apparently licensed. There's a game section. Uh, it's got, I don't know, looks like about a dozen games you can play. And look up, what's that? Just an encyclopedia and dictionary. Um, I won't go into that right now. What's in the toolbox? A magnifying glass, a flashlight, and a calculator. Let's try the magnifying glass. So it looks like that turns on the camera. And I'm going to grab this manual with tiny print that I've got. To see if this would work for it. So you can see I can magnify small print rather easily. And then if I'm having trouble holding it steady, I just press freeze frame and it'll hold that. Kind of like that. Um, back to the menu. And the last thing is help. And I can call this tech support person. Apparently it knows who's on duty all the time, um, which is cool. And um, it also has videos. So if you've forgotten how to do something, uh, you can Welcome get an overview. Uh, you can get a video on the cover, the charging cradle, and so on the call button. I'm going to leave that, but that's on the machine so they can watch that at any time. So that's a pretty quick overview of the grand pad. And uh, overall, I'd have to say that I'm impressed with the design decisions they've made. And I think we're going to get some very interesting experiences when we try this with some of our members. Thanks for watching.